Good morning, everyone. I'm Britton Davenport. And I'm Logan Thompson. Today, we have a very special broadcast for you about the commercial printing class at WCC. Our remote reporter, Carson Whittle, is live in the commercial printing class. Let's check on in with him and see what's going on there. I'm down here in uh, commercial printing, and we're going to talk to some students about some projects that they've been working on the past couple weeks. But for now, I'm going to send it back up to you guys in the studio. <clears throat> we had the privilege of getting to see a recent project that students in the commercial printing class have been working on. Let's check it out. Today, I'm working on the screen. Oh, what? Today, I'm working on the screen press. The steps to the screen printing are you have to expose your screen, and then you have to block out the edges so you don't get ink everywhere, and then cover up any pinholes you have with scotch tape. And then you put ink at the bottom of your screen, and you take your squeegee, and then you just pull the ink through the screen. What are my kids doing today? They're cutting paper. They're making memo pads. They're actually working on a project that they've worked on for quite some time. They designed these memo pads, and today we're to the cutting stage where they're going to actually put them in pads. Um, my thoughts on the class are it's a pretty fun class. We all basically get along. We do a lot of fun different projects, and we get to work on our creativity a lot, and we all basically help each other as much as we can. I help a lot of the juniors with the projects that they're having trouble with, and even some of the seniors. We're going to toss it back to our remote reporter who will tell us about screen printing and commercial printing. Carson, please tell us some more. I'm down here, and we're going to go check out the screen printing. I got my cameraman Rocky with me, and we're going to go check out the screen print. So are you doing the screen printing? Yeah. All right, what's your name? Megan Armistead. All right, so what project are you working on? The State Skills USA shirt. Okay, can you show me how you do that real fast? Sure. So what step are you in now? Uh, right now I'm just flashing it to where the ink is in a gel state so I can print the next color without it sticking onto the other color. All right, we'll watch you do one more color and then we'll send it back up to them in the studio. Okay, and then you just flash it one more time. Yeah, so the blue ink doesn't stick to the black screen. All right, and then what do you do after it's all finished? I will fold it to where the print is face up in that dryer and wait for a minute. All right, we'll send, we'll send it back up to you guys in the studio. I recently had the privilege of sitting down with an alumni of commercial printing, Kalani Ferguson, to talk about her experiences in the class. I'm joined in the studio today by Kalani Ferguson, an alumni of uh, Shafton's commercial printing class. How are you doing today, Kalani? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, all right. <clears throat> How did your time in commercial printing help prepare you for college? Um, it actually helped a lot since I went into a graphic communications major. The commercial printing class pretty much prepped me for all of my intro courses, as well as just having knowledge on like where I would go further in my senior level classes. So it helped a lot. That's nice. <clears throat> what made you uh, choose commercial printing at WCC? Yeah, so actually my older sister was in his class for junior and senior year and I saw her compete at skills and I just thought the whole program was really cool so I toured WCC and looked at a couple different classes but ultimately like commercial printing just appealed the most to me so. Tell us about Schaffner's teaching style. Um, yeah I actually liked it a lot because he was more laid back in letting us be creative and as long as we like proposed our what our project was going to be to him he was really open-minded and let us kind of just take the reins on it. He was there to assist us in anything that we needed, but he was really just allowed us to be free in what we wanted to do. So it was really good. Now, I understand that you're very accomplished. <clears throat> what was your favorite thing about Skills USA? 
Um, I think my favorite thing was getting to travel and meet all the students from all over and see the different programs that there were out there. I had no idea all the things that were offered at Skills. So seeing it on that large platform and seeing all these different students compete and all these different things was really, really cool. How did your perspective on commercial printing change as you went through the class? Um, that's a tougher one. So I think I just got exposed to a larger industry than I realized. You know, when we first start, we look, we're looking at uh, screen printing and sublimation, but there's also like flexography, offset, there's all these different processes. So in the class, I started out just thinking, oh, it's design and we get to print it but it's such a larger thing that you can turn it into. <clears throat> what equipment was your favorite to use and why? Um, I'd probably have to say uh, the, the um, sublimation, just because that whole process, I, I used that in skills. So getting to do that process and practice for a larger competition was definitely my favorite part. What do you find motivates you whenever you're doing commercial printing work? Uh, probably getting to see what my initial design is going to out to be in the end. Just knowing that something that you design digitally is going to turn into a physical product that you can hold and show people is just, it really motivates you to try harder in the beginning process to make the ending process look as best as possible. When you think back at your time at WCC, what comes to mind first? Uh, I think the people. Everyone there is really awesome. I love talking to them and getting to meet all these people. Um, yeah, I think WCC was definitely the highlight of my high school career by far. The environment is just completely different from the high school overall. So, What project were you most proud of? Um, I did a lot. So I think my favorite... I can't, I don't even know. I think I like all of it because, you know, you get to work through screen printing and sublimation and laser engraving. So, you know, you just do different projects in all of those areas. So it was just, it was, everything was a little different, but I think all my sublimation projects are probably my favorite just because it's where I excelled. So, yeah. All right. Final question. What would you tell a new student coming into commercial printing? Um, probably to be open-minded. Um, you know, when you're going into it, you can get a little overwhelmed with the beginning process of digitally designing something. But with Schaffner being so open with what you can do, uh, you should keep an open mind on what design you can do. You know, you can do different things with screen printing. You can do something different with laser engraving. And you can do something different with sublimation. They're all completely different processes, but all of them can turn out to be a really great product if you just think about the design creatively in the beginning steps, so. All right, I wanna thank you for uh, taking time out of your own day to uh, come talk about commercial printing with us. And um, I'll let you get back to whatever you're doing. All right, thank you. Thank you. We want to thank Kalani again for taking time out of her day to talk about commercial printing. We're going to take it back to Carson Live and commercial printing to talk about sublimation. I'm still down here in commercial printing. They have a lot of awesome technology down here that uh, I had the chance to check out. But what I'm going to show you now is the sublimation process. So let's go check it out. So we're here at the sublimation, at the first step of the sublimation. What's your name? Malaya. All right. And what, what does this process do right here? Right here, it's just like putting, it goes from a solid to a gas to a solid. And I'm sublimating it onto a mouse pad. All right, and I see that timer is about 20 seconds, so do we have about 20 seconds until that's finished? Yep, and then go pull it up and get paper off. All right, so we're going to go to the next step of the sublimation. While that's going, then we'll come back to that. If we go right this way over here. So is this the second step of sublimation? This is basically a bigger version of what she's doing over there, but this is with the all-over print shirt. All right, and what's your name? Misty. All right, Misty. So this does the same thing as over there is what you're saying? Yep. All right, just on a bigger scale? Mm hmm All right, so what is this good for? This is good for if you're doing shirts or blankets or any big project. All right, and then we'll check out the final project of the sublimation.
So it looks like she's taking something out of the oven here that she just sublimated. So we'll check that out. So can you say what that is again? It's a mug we're sublimating. All right. Basically how mugs get their design over here. All right, and you want to show that mug to the camera real fast? All right, she's going to get the tape off, and then she's going to show you the mug that she just made. All right. And how long did that mug take you? Um, it takes 12 minutes to sublimate them, each mug. All right. Well, we'll send it back up to you guys in the studio. Every great class needs a great teacher. We interviewed a variety of students from, from commercial printing and asked them about Mr. Schaffner. I would describe Schaffner as hardworking, very supportive, and he likes to inspire and make sure we do our best. He's a great person to be around, very friendly and helpful. The most thing I like about the way he teaches is how he's always making sure that we're doing our work. He's making sure that we're always on task and that everyone's doing their part. That he teaches us the stuff in a very easy to understand way and is always open to questions. My favorite thing about Mr. Schaffner would be that he's always there for someone who needs help and he's always trying to get us to push ourselves, get out of our comfort zone and things like that. His fun personality. Hey Logan, you ever had a laser pointer point oh, it into your eyes? I have actually, it hurts pretty bad. Well, imagine how something under a laser engraver would feel. I have a feeling that we're about to find out. Carson, tell us a little bit about the laser engraver and commercial printing. All right, and the final piece of technology that we're going to show is the laser engraver. So let's go take a look at that real fast. So from my understanding, this is the laser engraver? Yep. All right, what's your guys' names? I'm Cole Bennett. I'm Grace. I'm Amanda. All right, and what does the laser engraver do? Well, we're lasering on a heart for a project, and it just engraves on the wood. All right, how long does the process take usually? Mm, this is around like three minutes. It just varies on the project. All right, and have you already started it? Yeah. All right, so how much longer is it going to take for that? Probably like two minutes, maybe. All right, so I'm going to go grab a couple of students for our game show, and then we're going to come back to you and show the final project. Uh, I think she would be a good fit for our game show. So what's your name? Uh, Savannah Blackburn. You want to play some game show? Why not? Let's do it. All right, well, follow me up there and we'll go up and play some games. Right. Let's find one more student over here. I think she looks like a good fit. What's your name? Malaya. Well, do you want to play some game show too? Yeah. All right, well then, why don't you follow me and Savannah up here and we'll go play some games. Right. But for now, I'm going to go and show this final project of the laser engraver. So how long do we have now? <laughs> Probably a minute. All right. So can you tell us a little bit about this class while we're waiting on that? Well, what do you want to know about this class? Like how many projects have you done? Is it fun? Oh, it's really fun. Like you have a lot of projects to do. You can either like we're doing lasering on a heart, laser a cop, do a shirt or do a bigger shirt or do a mug. You can do a lot of stuff. All right. And do you like Mr. Schaffner? Is he a good teacher? Would you recommend him to... Me. I don't know about all of them. <laughs> all right. So would you recommend it to incoming sophomores that want to take WCC? I would recommend it because if you if you like making stuff and like you're a good artist, this would be a good class. Okay. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this class? This class is really fun. Uh, it's hands on a lot, actually, but you got to kind of know a lot about a computer. All right. What grade are you guys all in? Senior. Senior. Junior. You're a junior? All right. So are you still learning from the seniors and stuff? A lot. Okay. It's almost done. All right. She's saying it's almost done. So we're going to take a final look at this product real fast. I think it just finished and she's going to take it out now. 
Okay, so it depends on the wood. It can come out lighter like this, or it can come out darker like that, but just depends. All right, well, that was some pretty neat technology, so we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio for one last time. Hello, and welcome to Tiger TV Game Show. I'm your host, Carson Whittle. Alongside me is Savannah and Malaya. It looks like they changed clothes since the last time we saw them. Are you guys ready to view the categories of today's game show? Yes. All right. First category is printing knowledge. The second category is more mesh knowledge. Third category, inked. Fourth category is mesh characteristics. The fifth category is framing. And the final category is tension. So we'll start with Savannah. What would you like to do? Uh, I'll do printing knowledge 100. All right. Which term refers to the number of threads per linear inch in a mesh? Uh, not sure. All right. Well, the answer is mesh count. <laughs> Malaya, what would you like to do? Uh, hmm, framing 100. Which type of frame secures mesh in place without the use of adhesives? I know this one, but I don't. Don't know it? Oh, I, don't I do, but I don't. don't. <laughs> Literally. Does uh, it start with an R? <laughs> I don't know what I did. Like rotary? No, Ready to view right. the answer? Sure. All right. Rotary? You just said it! You said yeah, it! Yeah, I you did. You were thinking. All right, Savannah, what would you like to do next? I'm going to do inked 100. <laughs> All right. When printing projects that contain fine details, which, which type of screen is recommended? Uh, square print? Square frame, is that the answer? A oh. high numbered mesh. Ooh. Sorry. I didn't know it, so. Malaya? Um, uh, mesh characteristics 100. Which option is used to describe the core instance of mesh? What is that word? <laughs> what is that word? <laughs> <laughs> core set, core uh, <laughs> which option is used? Uh, something. Don't know. <laughs> mesh count. What? what? There's two. <laughs> oh Definitely. my gosh. Yeah. Right, Savannah, this is your last question. What would you like to do? We can do tension 200. Tension 200. Ooh, Getting a little risky. Which option is required to ensure proper mesh tension? I feel very confident in this one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I know this one, but I don't. A square oh, rigid yeah, frame. I said that earlier. Okay. All right. Then the last question from Malaya. Tension 100. Devices that measure mesh tension typically describe the results in terms of what? Oh, I remember this one. I answered it wrong. Uh, I don't know. The answer is Newton's. That's the one I had last Oh, my God. You had it last. Yeah, I know. All right. It's let's go to the weird. final question. Okay, I'm ready for this oh one. Oh, my God. You guys want to enter some final wages? Yeah, uh, zero. All right. <laughs> Six. <laughs> I'll enter uh, nothing. Other than teaching class, what is Mr. Shafter's favorite thing to do at WCC? Harass Wallace. Oh, that's a good one. Savannah is right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You're now the winner, even though you waged zero dollars. Even though I had nothing to wage. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining us today on Tiger TV Game Show. A few talented students in the video production class made a behind the scenes video showing the work that was put into getting this broadcast completed. My co-host, Britton Davenport, helped with the production of the video. Yes, I did. I worked very close with my team to give you all a peek behind the curtain. Enjoy.
I am a, uh, an anchor for the, uh, the newscast, and I'm also writing the interview questions for the interview uh, portion of it. I am the game show host, and I am the field reporter. Uh, I'm an anchor, and I work with Josh and Anthony on the behind the scenes documentary that we are shooting. Uh, I'm the producer. Uh, I kind of look over everybody, make sure everything's getting done correctly. Uh, if they need help, I'll help them. Um, I consult with uh, Mr. Wallace uh, about you know who needs to be on what and what needs to be done a certain day. And, uh, so yeah, I just go, I go around and supervise basically is what my job is. It's uh, Cal uh, Callie Ferguson. Uh, she used to be a, a student of Schaffner's, and we're gonna interview her to see more about what her experience was like. It's gonna be over Skype, and I just have, you know, questions typed out. Yeah, I really enjoyed the job. Um, whenever we did the practice, yeah, I really enjoyed the job. into the sea holding everything in place what falls apart starts coming back together it's going pretty good i mean we're making a scene right now which is pretty good it means we're doing our work i love it it is probably like most favorite thing to do at wcc to be honest because I don't know why. It's just, it's kind of like the field work that I want to go into when I graduate. So I enjoy this a lot. I believe so. We got a good team and a bunch of hard workers. So we should be all right. Our time is never the stuff in our minds. I could walk into the We want to thank Mr. Schaffner and the entire commercial printing class for allowing us to show off their class. And from all of us at Tiger TV, we thank you for watching the special edition of Tiger TV News.